So this dish is called mansaf. It's a traditional dish of Jordan. I first tried this at a friend's wedding. It was absolutely delicious. So what we have here is the fermented yogurt. So you'll see the whey. It comes as a dried product and then it takes overnight to rehydrate and that's where you get the separation of the whey here and the, the, the dairy part of the yogurt. So to start we're going to cook our rice. So in our boiling water we're just going to put a good pinch of salt and I like to add some turmeric just to colour the rice really. It does flavour it slightly but nothing that um, is overpowering. Give it a stir and then we add our rice. So just make sure that your rice is washed. So we bring that up to the boil and then it takes about 11 to 12 minutes depending on what rice that you have. And then next we'll toast off the almonds and the pine nuts. Take a good glug of vegetable oil, about 15 to 20 mils. And then you need about a quarter of a cup of almonds and the same amount for the pine nuts. And you'll start to hear that they start to pop. Or you can stir them with a heat proof spatula. And you'll see them, they should go quite quickly, a nice golden brown. But you must keep them moving because once they're hot enough, you'll, you'll see they start to toast quite quickly. So there we go, there's a nice toasted almonds. And then all we do is just drain them. And I just like to season them with salt as they're an extra seasoning on the dish. So then once the almonds are toasted, we take all of the lamb straight into the pan and then we add a teaspoon of ground cardamom and add it to the lamb. One of our lovely cinnamon sticks and a nice whole bay leaf. And then to that, we add chopped white onions And then all we do is top up with water. And then we cook that out for about an hour, an hour and a half, just until the meat turns tender. And then once you bring this up to the boil, you'll notice that there's a foam on the top. You must remember to skim this foam off. So then that's it. So we wait for this to come up to the boil and then we turn it down for a simmer for at least an hour. So just here you'll see the foam just starting to form. We're just going to remove that. It only takes a couple of minutes just to remove the top. There we go. And then we just turn it down to a simmer. And then moving on from that, what we're going to do is drain the rice. As you see now, it's a lovely yellow colour. So we're going to drain that and put it to one side. So once that's reduced, what we do next is we're going to boil our fermented yoghurt. And you'll see that that separates. And then we add our natural yoghurt. So you'll see the two just come together but it has a separating effect to it. So then with the lamb, what we do, we remove some of the stock because we're going to place some over the rice when we come to plate the dish. So just about a third. And then we add the fermented yogurt and yogurt to the stock. And then we just leave this to cook for a further 10 minutes. And while this is cooking away, we're going to fry off the onions. So we take a little bit of vegetable oil. And then just add our onions. When I had this dish before, the onions were just soft. But I like to put some colour on my onions just because it adds more to the flavour. So now this is nearly ready. So just before we combine the two ingredients there, this is the Marcout bread. It's an unleavened bread 
and it's just a flour water based dough which is really stretched and this is the one that is put over a, a wok like pan to cook and it takes literally 30 seconds on either side and it forms little holes and little pockets so this is just ready for the rice to sit on but beforehand what we'll do we'll add our onions Give it a stir. We then remove the, the cinnamon bark. This should be good to go. So what we do, we place our rice over the top. And then what we're going to do is place some of the stock that the lamb was cooked in over the rice just to keep it nice and moist and add to a little bit more flavour. And then it moistens the bread. It, the bread just soaks up all of the juices. It's just delicious. And then on top goes our lovely lamb. And then we add our toasted pine nuts and almonds. Just be quite generous. And what I like to do is add just a little bit of chopped parsley just because it adds a nice bit of colour. So when you're displaying just get nice vibrant yellows, beautiful greens. Just over the top. Here we have the finished article, Mansa, the national dish of Jordan. <laughs>